it's me stormy and here's your horoscope for august 2018 and libra before we jump in i hope you will take advantage of the absolutely special offer i've got going on to take either my astrology 101 or my astrology 101 and 102 classes in september so all of that is in the description box down below i also have a video posted about the absolutely awesome opportunity to learn and why that offer is there at that time so i hope to see you in those classes okay all right libra as far as august goes we are not out of the woods yet there's still a lot of rest retreat things from the past we're cleaning up we don't have a full launch forward in august yet we just don't but it is still a very usable month one we're obviously going to be participating in so we just want to know our way through it now first and foremost as we kick off this month right here on the sixth we've got venus moving into your sign moving right here into libra so while the month is not just like woohoo you know easy peasy or anything like that what you have a sense of magnetism to you this is the thing when venus comes into your sign she brings all of her characteristics with her beauty sensuality a little bit of romance harmony diplomacy right magnetism comes with this she sometimes likes to bring some money as well so that's okay so what ultimately this means for you all the way until September is that you may actually be attracting people to you because you've become kind of magnetic, right? You just have this overall boost in even your physical beauty. You may even just get up and kind of be like, whoa, where did this sexy come from? Because clearly it's back, which is very <laughs> exciting. So it also, what I love about when Venus comes into my sign, whatever's been going on, um, I tend to just have clarity, like my eyes look brighter, my skin looks brighter, my fingernails just start to grow, so like something crazy. So enjoy all of that magnetism. The part that I think is the most important that I would like to point out to you is that I think that this is a time, Libra, where you need to be drawing people to you. I think that the universe understands that you've been in a fair amount of transition, especially this last six months of the year, and you need some new people in your crew. You need new new energy coming to you. And the other reason I say that is because I know as we're in this month, we've also got Mercury retrograde and a solar eclipse that's going to be happening in your 11th house. So I know there have been challenges with either your social groups, your friends, a friend, um, networks, organizations maybe you've been a part of, you've been rethinking them, re-editing, revising, and you need new life there. So let's just keep going here first. On the seventh of the month, we have Uranus taking his retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Now this is going to be lighting up your eighth house space. So in terms of the eighth house, these are joint things, right? Joint resources, my intimacy, my sex, my deepest fears, my greatest talents, but it also comes down to taxes, alimony, um, loans, any of those things where we intimately have connected with another person, place, or source. Now for you with having Uranus retrograde here, you are going to look back at how you get back on your own feet. Where is your own individuality, right? Where have you compromised your individuality? From the past, there may be some things you need to shake out of and break out of, right? It's like, I cannot be married to you anymore. Let's shake this out. You can't have no more money, right? <laughs> like it could be something like that. Or maybe it's even just in the intimacy department, right? You're going back over and you're needing to look at where you need to let down some barriers. You need to have some new intuition, some new creativity. Now, the other part that I do think, again, this is in response to the new groups, Uranus is a very social, social energy. So one, you could have new people involved in your financial life. This includes maybe um, looking over finances or, or some kind of connection you had with another resource or person. And now you've got people involved and they're helping you navigate that. This could also just be in your friendship groups, right? Do you need new groups of people in your life? Do you need some new friends? Are you in a different place than you were a year ago? And you just need to be supported. So a lot of those things could be rising to the surface as we get to this energy. Now on the 11th, we have got the new moon partial solar eclipse happening in Leo 
along with having that Mercury retrograde there. So again, the friendship sector or the groups, the organizations, it's lit up. And I really have to tell you, I genuinely believe with Mercury retrograde here, you have been having a problem in your friendship group. Even if the only problem you've been having is that you feel like you don't fit somewhere or you have the desire to fit someplace else. This is a wonderful, wonderful networking energy for you to look back and say, I don't fit here. Here's where I want to go. Now with that solar eclipse there, this is new beginnings. It's still the new moon for the month. So the new moon is where we plant these seeds of intention. We have these new beginnings beginnings, you have the new crew coming for you. You have new friends coming. You may decide that a friendship's not working out or that a group thing that you've been a part of is not working out and you're deciding they're not working out because you realize they tether you to the past. They don't push you forward. So new social things. This includes things online. This includes, um, your technologies, right? If you're not being social, you don't have a tribe, your laptop has been trying to die and you just won't let it, this could be a time too where we've got some adjustments coming there as well, okay? Now on the 12th, we've got Mars who is still retrograde as we come into this month. Um, he was in the sign of Aquarius, but on the 12th, he is going to retrograde back up there into the sign of Capricorn. So lighting up for you, we've got some things going. Um, in your love life and your home life. These things may, you may be relooking over action, energy, desire, what's happening here. If you've been dating somebody, um, you you may be feeling like they're not, they, they haven't fit or they don't fit for you anymore. Um, I will tell you too, in some ways around your love life or around relationships for whatever reason, or maybe even your home life, I'm getting this sense for you, you may be feeling like, like when is the thing? When does it end? When does the next thing come? it's coming, okay? It is coming. As we get past the 27th and Mars can come out of retrograde, it will be your chance um, to move something forward. Now, I wanna say this, you're a relationship sign, okay? It is natural and ingrained in you. We've got Mercury retrograde, we've got Mars retrograde. Here's the thing, if an ex walks back into your life or if an opportunity to be with an ex or someone from your past comes back in your life, I really, really would suggest that you stop and you pray about that, right? Because first of all, you've got to understand um, it didn't work out for a reason, right? It really did not work out for a reason. The energy of your life is new and forward, right? Here's the other thing I would tell you to pray about and be honest about. We're in a high amount of retrograde. Be honest about what you're doing. Why are you going back to this person? Are you feeling like it's never going to work out with somebody else? Are you feeling like this is your last chance? Whatever it is, be clear on your motives, not theirs, your motives for doing what you're doing because I just feel like it may not be the right thing, of course, depending on your personal chart. So enough preaching from me, okay? As we get to the 19th, Mercury comes direct here in the sign of Leo. Beautiful energy because now things with the groups, the associations, the friends, the social things can start to move forward. You can make some decisions. You can have some clear communication. You can maybe even if you've been kind of hanging back in your social groups, you can speak up a little bit more. You know, you find your voice, you find your heart here. This is the sign of Leo. This is about your heart, your expression, your joy. This could also be a time too where maybe you're starting to have a bit more chat with your friends or your children and their friends. Something like that. Very good though. Mercury's moving on the way and moving forward. Now on the 23rd, the sun's going to enter into Virgo, woot woot, lighting up this um, beautiful space for you to be more Virgo-like, right? Be more efficient, be more analytical about the things that you're doing. Look at your health, look at your wellness. All of these things become, you get to kind of bring in the vitality of the positive Virgo qualities here, okay? Now on the 26th, we have got the full moon happening in Pisces. So this is really interesting energy, I think, because with the full moon happening here, the full moon says we have to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something, right? And this looks to be in your daily routines. This looks like maybe it is in some capacity in your health or your wellness in some way, shape, or form. You're just gonna need to do a little bit of a course correct here. And some of this has to do with mental wellness as well. So kind of keep that in your mind. If there are some ideas that need to be filtered out and let go, this will be the time. 
Now on the 27th, Mars goes on ahead and turns direct. Thank you so much because we all would like to get on with our forward motion, our action, and all of this good stuff. So your foundations, right, your energy, all of these things will begin to move forward now. Anything that you've gathered information on in this retrograde time, you can begin to take some action on moving some things forward, Libra. And one of the things that I think you'll definitely be moving towards is a new home, housing, domestic kind of situation. So however that pans out for you, please keep me posted in the description box down below, okay? I look forward to seeing you in the astrology classes that begin in September. Get all the details, watch the video because this is a super good deal. Check it out and I look forward to seeing you there, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in September.